Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Lazy Engineer back again to give you a quick look at this uh, charge limiting device called Chargy. Now for those of you that aren't familiar, some batteries such as the ones in all your smartphones and other smart devices have an optimal charge percentage that'll prolong your overall battery life for years. And to give you an example of what that means, uh, basically charging your phone up to 100% isn't exactly the healthiest thing for your phone. Now, that's not to say it's dangerous to charge your phones to that percentage. It's totally safe to do so and batteries have come a long way and are really safe now. But we're talking about your battery's uh, health over the years. I'm not going to get into the details about the physics of charging batteries here, but there's a great video that Linus Tech Tips has on the topic of battery health and I'll link that in the description. Um, so long story short, if you're concerned about your phone's overall health, you want to ideally maintain the charge of your phone between 60 to 65%. Now I know that sounds ridiculous if you're the type of person to be out all day, uh, there's no way maintaining that percentage is practical. There is a solution for people who are at a desk most of the day and um, this is pretty much just for someone that has constant access to a charger. I believe there there's a feature on iPhones for this type of charging method, uh, but there are some extra features that Chargy provides. Uh, now, quick disclaimer: this video was not sponsored. I was giving I was given a test unit. I had to pay shipping, but I have no obligation to give it a positive review. These are my honest opinions. And also, at the time of writing, the iOS Chargy app is still in beta, so be sure to check your app store. Um, if the app is available before you buy the device. So anyway, let's get down into it and I'll show you my results. Uh, so you buy the Chargy device, this is it. You install the app, you install the, the Chargy device into your actual charger, and you set the parameters in the app. Now, here's the device. I'll give you a quick tour. It's just a little box with the USB-A on either side. And at the moment, it looks like they'll be 3D printing the case, so that's kind of cool. As for installation, you just grab the charger, plug it into your regular USB-A charger, and then you connect your cable into the charger just through here. And it's a little bit bulky, but uh, for now, I think it pretty much gets the job done. Um, and what I'll do is, um, I'll plug, this is my fast charger from, I don't know how many Samsung phones ago, but it still fast charges uh, devices. And I use this with my uh, wireless charger, uh, so it's a USB-A to micro USB, and uh, it works perfectly fine. Uh, you only have to pair the charger to your phone in the initial setup, but after that, it just works. Um, and I'll get into the app here, and uh, the app comes with some default recommended settings, but as for myself, I like to play it extra safe. In the settings of the app, uh, we can change the charge limit, how much the battery percentage will drop before it starts charging again, maximum battery temperature, and a bunch of other fine-tuning options. Uh, I like to keep my charge level between 63 and 65%, and basically after you set your preferences, you can just plug in your phone and it'll do the rest of the work. Uh, in my case, I charge it um, to 65% and then stop charging then uh, wait for the percentage to drop to 63%, at which point it'll start charging again. As the cycle repeats indefinitely, uh, and it just keeps your battery topped off to that safe uh, percentage. Now, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I use a wireless charger, so I know they're not the best way to charge a device uh, because of the inefficiency and heat generation, which is why I take the safety precautions a step further and I use the thermal throttling capabilities of the Chargy device. Uh, this Chargy has a default of 50 degrees Celsius, so when it hits that temperature, it'll throttle itself, uh, but that's adjustable too. I have mine set to 35 degrees because I like to play it safe, especially since I like to wireless charge overnight. I'm not rushing. It's just gonna hover around that percentage wirelessly. Now, for those of you that need a full charge at the start of your day, you can set up the Chargy to fully charge your device too at a set time. So an example of this would be if you want to normally keep your battery at half charge, but you can set it up so that it'll start to fully charge your phone maybe 45 minutes before you wake up. Uh, these are just some features I've played with so far. I even have logged results here. You can see the charge level versus the time versus the temperature. 
So the chargy is obviously delivered on his promise. I also went and asked the CEO what plans they have for the future. And they said they have some serious upgrades in the works like uh, adaptions for MacBook users, uh, USB-C PD devices, and they even got secret projects in the works that I'm really looking forward to seeing. So that means if you have a Chromebook off USB-C, uh, you can pretty much, uh, you know, make sure that stays topped off. I'm sure there will be software for things like that as well. And, um, you know, just generally, it's a really great product and uh, it's doing a good thing. You can always charge your battery to 100% every chance you get, um, but you're really stressing out your battery. Which is fine, it's designed to withstand that, but you're looking at a shorter life in your devices, which means you'll be buying more phones more often, which hurts your wallet and even the environment. So manufacturers have included this charge limiting function into their devices. Uh, only some, not, not a lot by any means. I know Asus laptops have a charge limit for their laptops. You can set your charge limit to something low and you can leave your laptop plugged in all day without stressing about the battery. And, uh, you know, because batteries now, they're, you can't swap them out as easily anymore. You have to unscrew everything. And in phones, it's even worse. Uh, like, if you have a phone with a built-in battery, I definitely recommend this product. Um, personally, if, if you're looking to buy into this, I would probably go purchase a few of them. Currently, I have one next to my bed, uh, but I want one in my car and one at my work desk. I might be getting a little bit carried away, but... I like to take care of my electronics uh, for my wallet and the environment. Anyway, I've been looking for a solution to this battery charge problem and have even rooted some of my old Android phones and to get that charge limiting functionality. Uh, and even that doesn't feel too polished, but this is the easy way to protect your battery without voiding any warranties and, uh, and still stick to those big companies because you won't buy a new phone every other year. So I'll leave a link to the Chargy below. Um, please don't be afraid to leave a comment asking questions about the Chargy. Uh, you can even email their support if I can't answer your questions. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope I helped you make a decision and uh, peace out.